All right, good evening, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Welcome back to JPCE, Spiritual Talk, Cher Campbell. So, this evening's, so this evening's discussion is going to look like this. We're first going to talk about an Orthodox priest in Ukraine, right? So the very first link you'll see in the description box, if you click on it, is going to be from AP Archives, right, YouTube. And in that video... Right, so you click on the link and you watch the video. It's not very long. It's going to show you an Orthodox priest. He's being placed on house arrest. He was on house arrest, but he also defied the first house arrest. And in this video, they're placing an ankle monitor on him, right? So he can't defy it again, right? So if you watch the video, you'll see he's an Orthodox priest who was put on house arrest. He defied the house arrest because he's a man of God, right? And they end up putting a uh, ankle monitor on him. I wanted to share that with all of you, right? Because it's very interesting on what's going on in Ukraine. And it's very important that we understand what's going on. Right? There's a lot of persecution going on in Ukraine right now. Right? It's kind of a messed up place. That's why I pray for peace all the time. And I will continue to pray for peace but I've also been called to share some of this with some of you if you don't know what's going on, right? It was only within a few days that the Lord put it on my heart to share some of this that's coming out of Ukraine to get it out there more. I focus a lot on Bible studies and daily devotionals, evening reads, reflections, things like that. But it, the Lord wanted me to tie it in to some of my evening reflections, talk about what's going on over there, provide a few sources, right? And still tied in to my nightly messages. Things like that. So that's the first thing I wanted to talk about. So if you click on that link, right? You watch the video. You'll see them putting, it's not a very long video. You'll watch them put an angle monitor on an Orthodox priest, right? Because he did defy the first house arrest, right? So the next thing we're going to talk about before we close out this evening. So this next thing, it's an article from War 24-7 News. Right, it's the Greek international news source that's been keeping up with the war in Ukraine. It's also how I've kept up with the war in Ukraine, right? Since it all started. There was also a moment where Greek news, we couldn't get War 24 7 news for some reason. Heather and I went months. You know, we weren't the only ones. We were seeing online where people, it was months and months where you couldn't access it for some reason. And now you can. So it's good to have this source back. So we know what's going on. Because without some of these in, without some of these international sources, I don't think any of us would know what was going on in Ukraine. Right? Because I know here in the US we're not getting a whole lot. Right? A lot of it is propaganda, right? And all countries have their propaganda, right? Even Russia, even Ukraine, Belarus, doesn't matter. You name a country, they all have their propaganda, right? Just how it is, right? So this or so this article, right? It starts out, so the headline of this article is Unthinkable Massacre. Russian, Russia was stolen American soldier's helmet. So here, Russian soldiers have a stolen American soldier's helmet. It's also reporting over 50 dead mercenaries, right? Now, are they really mercenaries, right? Man, they could be. Once again, none of us know, right? But there's a video that comes with this article, and we'll get to that in a sec, right? So I'm going to read a little bit of this article, and then I'm going to get to the video. Like I said, this is the second link you'll see, so you click on this. Hopefully you have Google Chrome, so it'll translate to English for you. If you're not, if not, I'll read, I'll read some of it for you. So it says, unthinkable carnage took place in Kark Karkaviv, as well as Vermisky, Ver Vermisky place in Zav uh, Zavrzaya, if I said that right, probably not. In Kharkiv, over 50 Western mercenaries were killed. Right? Listen attentively. It said in Kark Karkakiv, over 50 Western mercenaries were killed after a surprise Russian Garan 2 kamikaze, kamikaze drone attack. So it was one of them Russian Gerard 2 kamikaze drone attacks. And they got those. Now, Russia got those from, I think it's Iran, those kamikaze drones, right? So it says a second group of mercenaries also consisting of American soldiers, right? Listen attentively. A second group of, a second group of mercenaries also consisting of American soldiers were ambushed in Zasariah 
In the second video, a Russian soldier is seen holding the helmet of an American soldier. Okay. So I'm not going to read any more of the article, right? We kind of get the drift, right? There wasn't a whole lot to read. But in the second video, right, if you click on it, right, it's showing a U.S. American helmet. It is a bloody helmet, right? So if we click on it, you won't be able to see it. So if you're watching it with me, you will, right? So I'm going to go. Now I'm no expert, right? But I did serve in the Army, right? I was a 92 Fox Trot in the U.S. Army. I was, a, I was a petroleum supply specialist. That was my job in the Army, right? I was nothing special, nothing spectacular. I served tour in Iraq, right? And my unit in Iraq, right? We did a lot of convoy security, did some KBR recovery. So we saw a little bit of combat, right? Nothing too extensive, but the helmet that they're holding up in the video, so if you're watching the video with me, the helmet they're holding up looks like a special force helmet, like a special operator's helmet. Kind of looks like Delta Force to me. Possibly Green Beret. Could be, either could be Navy SEAL, could be Army Ranger. You know? But it's hard to tell, right? And that's the thing. Right? So I wanted to share that because things are getting serious in Ukraine. Right, and I wanted you guys to click on these links, to look for yourselves, and see what's going on. Right, to discern for yourself. Right, we do have American soldiers there. It's clear. Right, I don't understand all the jits of what's going on in Ukraine, but I know that what led me to reporting more on this was I feel deceived by my country. Right, oh, a few days ago I did I did a discussion on untruthful deception that was put on my heart by the Lord untruthful deception and I started tying all the Ukraine stuff together like I said I've been keeping up with it and finally I think it just kind of kicked in like a lot of things aren't making sense on all sides right so those are the two things I wanted to talk about right the links are in the description box right I don't want to take up too much of anybody's time I want some of these videos to be quick and to the point right don't want to talk too much or too long, right? You guys can understand, right, by clicking on the links and, you know, looking at it, doing some homework on your own to understand what's going on, right? You always check other sources, right? You know, that's the thing. I do not inject a whole lot of my opinion in things. I just report what's there, right? So we're going to close out with a reading, right? So this, so this evening's reading, we're going, to cl we're going to close out. It's called Our Stronghold. Right, so our stronghold. We're going to read from Nahum chapter one, verse seven. It's, it's an Old Testament reading. Name the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Nahum chapter one, verse seven. The Lord God, a stronghold in the day of trouble, and He knows those who trust in Him. And the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. So stronghold in Hebrew, it means rock and protection. Christ is the rock we build our foundation on. And he creates for us a strong fortress that can't be breached by the trials and tribulations life brings to us all. For the Lord is good to us all, and he knows all those who wholly trust in him. Once again, when old man trouble comes knocking, it is through discipl discipline, obedience, and self-denial self that gets us through the struggle. And it's the struggle that brings us closer to him. And the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. I wanted to close with that. Because when I was watching the video with the priest getting the ankle monitor put on, right, for being a man of God. And also I chose this because my wife's grandpa, her Grandpa Jerry passed away this afternoon. And my wife's hurting. Her heart is really heavy. A lot of sadness. She's hurt. And so I wanted to close out with a reading of Stronghold, right? Because like the priest, he's going to put his trust in Christ, right, because he built that foundation, on Christ. You'll see in the video when he does his cross after he gets up from getting that ankle monitor put on. My wife, she needs to hear, right, this verse, stronghold, right? So pray for my wife, pray for her family. My wife's name is Heather Campbell, if I haven't already said that, right? Her grandpa, his name is Jerry, passed away this afternoon. So keep my wife and my wife's family in your prayers. All of you, thank you so much, right? Thank you for the love and support. 
Now we're going to close out in prayer. Love you all so much. Tomorrow morning will be our yearly daily devotional reading. Be tomorrow morning. Love you all so much. Close out prayer. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. O oh Lord God, you spoke us your divine saving words. You illuminate the souls of sinners to comprehend what we just read. That we don't appear simply as hear spiritual words, but do as a good deeds, true pursuers of faith. How to blame his life and conduct without reproaching Christ our Lord. And to you, your light, we give glory, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, of now and forever. The sages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses. As you forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. But yours is the kingdom, the power, the glory, the Father, and the Son, Holy Spirit, both now and forever. The sages. Amen. The Lord is our shepherd. All right, good evening. We depart in peace. In the name of the Lord, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Peace be with you all. Go in peace. Shalom, shalom. May the Lord forgive those who love us and those who hate us. May the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be merciful to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, both now and forever. The sages. Amen. Chair Wesley Campbell, good evening, good night, good morning, good day, good afternoon. Whenever and however these messages, these reflections, devotionals find you all. I love you all so much. Thank you all for following. This is JPCE, Spiritual Talk. Never hold back. I love you all so much. Seek him. Give him your heart does the rest. Build that relationship with your creator. No excuses. I love you all so much. I'm out.